Hi and welcome to a very special episode of Fishing Western Australia. Now today we're coming to you from the beautiful Ningaloo Reef Resort right here in Coral Bay because we're featuring the Outback Coast Marshy. So let's see what's coming up. This week we're featuring the Outback Coast where we'll take quad bikes to a very special sandbar. Oh yes I'm on! We'll also head out in search of Marlin. No, not far from the release. And fish an island never before seen on TV. It's got that long tail. Marshy and myself are always looking for new and exciting ways to go fishing. So when John Bailey from ATV Eco Tours in Coral Bay hooked us up with some quad bikes, we headed into the sand dunes north of town to the place they call the Sandbar. I tell you what mate, after a ride like that, if the fishing is anything like the trip up here on the bikes, I'm going to have to clean my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well let's get John and Mick, we'll go work this sand spit, I reckon there's some fish here. Okay. When fishing the northwest, the best bait you can have is anything as long as it's live. Marshy's now quite the expert at the cast net, so this school of hardy heads stood no chance at all. Heaps here. Oh yeah, there's a heap there. Nice, nice. nice. You got a oh, few there, mate. You got a few. Yep. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> One of the essential keys to fishing in the northwest is having good bait. Now we're going to fish with lures, but Marshy here, Look at that. the broom boy himself, <laughs> he's a master with the cast net. Now the bait fish we've got are what's called hardy heads. That's what we call them. Little tiny things, little flat head on there keep them alive in a bucket, and I've probably got more than enough here. Oh, good bite. Come on, do it again. There's something out there. There's a big dark patch of weed there, or coral. And what you're going to do now, a lot of people just leave that live bait sitting there. But you get all the pickers, so you just wind it in really slowly across that dark onto the light. You'll see that. Now I've got a fish just running with my live bait here. We'll wait till he's run a little bit further. And yes, got him. Don't know what it is. Oh, I can see it. Actually, it's the queenfish. He's taking that right on the edge of the channel. Oh, he's coming out of the water. I've got fairly strong line here because there's some big fish in the area. Have a look at that. They're pretty common here in Coral Bay. And uh, they're also very spiky, so I'm going to be really careful with this one. Whoa, don't you spike me. Not the teeth you've got to worry about. It's actually the spikes on the top, very sharp, and those ones there, oh, get them in you. It's really painful, but aren't they such a pretty fish? I really love Queenies, the tailor of the north. Now, we're going to pop him back in the water after this wave's gone, or two. Watch him swim off. Come on, come on. Let's get him the right way up, make sure he's okay. He's fine. See you, mate. Now, ATV Eco Tours, John, how long have you been doing it in Coral Bay? Nearly five years now. Five years, so mum and dad, the kids, is there any requirements to drive these things? Really just, uh, you must have a driver's licence to drive the vehicle. Uh, you, we can have passengers, children or adults. Okay, so little Johnny sits on the front, dad behind him, riding the bikes, come fishing, you'll have an absolute ball. That's the way to go. 
Stay right there because next we're going to show you the most amazing shallow water tailor fishing you've ever seen. Yep! What the hell are they? They're not mullet, are they? They're Taylor. I've never seen a school of Taylor working the shallows like that. That's absolutely unbelievable, but they're intent on something else other than food. Grown men chasing fish around. What's the world coming to? I'll try and get around and make them run at it. Oh yes, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, he's still swimming with the pack. I'm gonna have to go after him, folks. Look at him go. I've never seen this before, and I've hooked one. This is like a dream come true for me. Oh, he's powering away. But he's made the fatal mistake of coming into shore. Look at that. Whoa. Actually, I think I fell hooked him. Whoa. Mate, you got your work cut out there. All right, I guess be patient here. He's not done. And I can't tire him out because he's got all of his facilities working at their peak, nothing's hooked, except the side of him. That's gonna tire him out. <laughs> this is unbelievable. The hook might come out, so we'll see how close we can get to him. I'm worried I'm gonna lose him here. <sighs> this is great. Come on, oh, the hook came out. <laughs> you saw him. That was unbelievable. Never seen anything like that. Let's see if we get another one, but I couldn't be lucky twice. Wave after wave of these fish came at us, and I worked hard for another hour before I was able to hook a second fish. Yep! He's still swimming with the school. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. He does now. I'll back my drag off. A little bit. Won't bullock him. The school's moving with them. He can't keep up with them, but he wants to. Have a look at that. He's gone with that school. I'm just going to tire him out on the surface. Oh, I'm so tired. I've been running after these silly things all day. Oh no, I foul hooked another one. Well, in a school like that. I mean, the hook could go anywhere. I didn't do it on purpose. Now, he's away from that school. Probably not as big as that last one. But, still a mighty fish. Now, I'll get him into the shallows, and I'll try and keep him there, but he's probably gonna try and head away. Now, when the foul hooked, keep a light drag if you wanna get that fish in, because it's not like getting a mouth connection, you're just in the flesh. You can see that crystal minnow you know, jig right in the side there. As he swims, I'll go with him. Look at that, right, right in his picture. Oh, he swam back into the school. <laughs> this is unreal. In all my years of tartar fish, I've never seen anything like this. That's it. Now, get that line back. Get that line back. Get that line back. Oh, he's a good fish. He's a good fish. Have a look at that. Got my, got my leader. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on, Steve. That's a deep fish. That's a very deep fish. Oh, it's not a tailor. That is not a tailor. Oh, come have a look at this. Bit of surf in USA. Right here in Coral Bay. Unreal. Oh, it's a drummer. That's why the schools weren't 
Look at that. That's why they weren't taking lures. They're weed eaters. Drummer. And I've jagged him. We'll just get those hooks out quickly. Let's get the sunglasses. Oh, I'm so tired. So tired. Here you go, mate. Right, that's out. Oh, there's blue bottles everywhere. Have a look at this. Blue bottles just washing up on the beach, so be careful to avoid them. And that, I've never seen one before. It's a very pretty little drummer. Well, he's all right. They're hardy, I'm gonna pop him back in. I've never seen a drummer quite like this. We'll just quickly wash him off. Give you a quick look. Pretty little stripes along there. Isn't that great? Awesome fight. And we'll let him go. Here you go, mate. No harm done. <laughs>